Hey guys, it's Striker here. And today I want to do a tutorial for you guys on how to install the Isle of Burke mod and its add-ons and such. Because I know those videos are kind of what uh, my channel is about. So if you are curious on how to install them, I'm going to just be doing a tutorial. So first you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Now it's very important you do this first. So for the latest version of the Isle of Burke mod is 1.18.2, which is what I'm going to be showing you. And essentially, you need to run a version of 1.18.2, a vanilla version of Minecraft first, before you can get a Forge version. So what we want to do is get go to installations. If and all you need to do is click new installation. You can call it whatever you want. And all you have to do is just look for 1.18.2, do the release version. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to do all this. You can, it doesn't really matter. All, you, all this version will do is you open it once and never have to touch it again. So what you would want to do is click play and we have it open. Doesn't really matter. Now that you happen to have it open, you can just quit the game. Next, we are going to want to download all the files, and I will have every single file link in the description. So you don't even have to worry about looking it up. So I'll have those. First of all, you're going to want to download Java if you don't have it already. This is the only way that mods can work, and so just download the latest version of Java onto your computer. You just click, press download. There should be a download file that will come up like this. And all you have to do is double click it in your downloads. It will open up an installation. And all you have to do is go through that installation. And it should be very uh, self explanatory. Then you are going to want to download Forge which I will have the link to. And we're going to download the recommended. Make sure it's 1.18.2. If you do the latest version, it won't work. You have to do the same version you want the mod for, which is in our case, 1.18.2. So we will click on the installer. Don't click on any of this stuff. Just wait until the ad goes away. It will have a little timer right here and press skip. Then it will go into your downloads. What I'll do is double click it. And you have to, again, you have to have Java to run this. And so all you need to do is install client, press OK. I'm not going to do that because I already have Forge installed, but it will just go through and download it and it should be fine. Now you want to open up the Minecraft launcher again. And a lot of times it will automatically have a Forge version right here. However, if you do not see it, you might have to create a new installation and it should be in this list. See, it has Forge right here. So you might have to manually add it again. But if you see that, then Forge has successfully installed. And we, we should be ready to play, but we first need to add our mods. So let us do that. First of all, you have the Isle of Burke mod. It is the main mod. You should be able to download it on this link. There's also the Isle of Burke add-ons, which are very useful. You don't necessarily have to have these, but there's like the Dragon Whistle and a bunch of other different spawn things. Uh, it is... I don't think it worsens the mod in any way, and it just benefits the mod, so I think this is definitely worth it. Then you have Infernos, which is technically a separate mod, but it supports Isle of Burke. Basically, you're able to get Pickup's Dragon Armor and a Flame Sword and a bunch of other really cool stuff, uh, even like dragon hunting um, ships and spawn. And this is very important too. This is not even related to these mods, but the, the main mod has to have Gecko Lib, which is a just an animation style mod that a lot of mods need. So you need to download this one. Now, all of these downloads will be 
1.18.2. So for this, for example, I'll just do this one. Sort to 1.18.2 and make sure it is Forge because there's a lot of other mod loaders, uh, but you have to make sure it's Forge. And I would just do the one that has the most downloads, 18 million right here. And again, it's this exact same thing with every other mod. And they should all go into your downloads folder. Next, what you want to do is go to your search bar on Windows. Now, if you have Windows 10, it's the exact same thing. Don't worry about it. Just type in run. And it should pull up this. Now, mine already has it um, typed out. Percentage, app data, percentage. That's all you have to type, no capitalization. Press OK. It will open up this folder in your roaming. It will be in roaming, not local. You have .minecraft right here. This is where all your Minecraft data is. And so there's a mods folder. Now, if there's no mods folder, just make one yourself. Press right click, new folder, and just name it mods. Now, I already have my mods right here. But for instance, you would have a separate downloads folder and you would just drag these into folder. Now, if there's a zip file, you're going to have to extract the files out of the zip. And what you need are the jar files in this mods folder. They cannot be inside of other folders. Like for instance, I have a bunch of other mods that I can disable, but they have to be, if they're gonna be enabled, they have to be by themselves in the, in the Minecraft mods folder. Once you have all the mods, those four mods in your mod folder, you should be able to launch Forge Remember, make sure it's the Forge launch that you are launching and not the standard version or a different version because you might, sometimes it can be kind of confusing. You Okay, so now that Minecraft has launched, you'll know that you have Forge installed correctly if Forge is present right here, if there's a mod folder, and you can even see all of these, all your mods here. Go ahead and test. I'll create a new world. You can test it yourself just to make sure. I'm going to do a little creative world just to test it. Now that we're in the world, what I can do is there'll be a second tab up here with extra mods and boom. We have successfully installed the mod. You can just do whatever. You can obviously make a survival world. If you all are curious on how to get mods running on a server. Uh, I can make a tutorial on that. Y'all just have to comment uh, if y'all are interested in that. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's pretty simple once you get it down. Sometimes it can be very confusing at first. Like I remember it when I was first getting into it, it was pretty confusing, but hopefully this helps anyone that's trying to get into modding, especially with just the how to, how to turn your dragon mod. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.